tell you now, I ain't no holy individual, but I am right. I'm not gonna lie to you, no, but still be in my country. I'm gonna tell you the truth, whether you like that or not. That's it. Yo, 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 my, my dudes, yo, I was like, I got the dopest production duo in my hands right now, and this shit happens. <laughs> ah, nah, you good, good, man. You good, yeah, this shit happens. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm like, I'm like picking myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, bro. Hold on, here, let, me, let me get you back and get y'all like, hold on, let me, let me get it, get it. I'm not letting this shit slide. No, yeah. <laughs> you heard me good? Yeah, we hear you. I hear you good. I hear you good. I'm trying to get it with um, we get we side to side or whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Okay. Bird up, man. The standouts is in the building. Ooh, yes, sir. I just could, yo, I could not let this slide. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, no, we we're gonna get it together, man. Yeah, we we're gonna yeah. get it together, That's man. We we're gonna get it together. Word up. Hold on. All right, let me get it together. Let me get it together. Gallery. There we go, gallery view. There we go. You know what? And y'all are the first, the first duo on the show. Okay. okay. You know I mean? okay. And I'm sitting here like, how am I going to interview these dudes? How do I ask these questions? You know what I mean? It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. I'm oh sure my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not. I, let me breathe for a minute. I had to breathe. So I'm like, yo, I'm not letting the dopest production duo. Slip by me right now. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. I was like, yo, I got to get these dudes on. One of y'all, who, who's a Dot McCray? One of y'all is, you, we, we, you, we, we going back. We've been back and forth for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been, I, I've been interested in your, uh, just the concept of what you did, man. So anytime right. people like really be into the craft and they, they <laughs> ask questions based on, I'm supposed to that heavy, man. Right, right. right. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know your name. I'm C dot C dot Hall. Can you say it again? C dot Hall. C dot Hall. Yeah, H A L L. Uh huh. Okay, right, uh, right. Because I know I be me, 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 and him go back and forth for a minute. And it's like stop bullshitting. When, 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 when we gonna? Yeah, yeah. You know, when we gonna do yeah. this? Yeah, for sure. When, for when, sure. when, when we gonna do this? I mean, I've been making a lot of fire, man. A lot of fire over the over, a lot of fire. Appreciate you know, it. Bro. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to begin this. Um, <coughs> because like I said, y'all are the first production duo, you know, that I've had on the show or whatever. Mm. And like, 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 well, I'm gonna start with with like how did how did how did the production thing start for you guys? Um, so with me, I'm I'm older. This is my first cousin. We cousins. Okay. Our uh, our parents are brother and sister. You know, right. I'm, my, my mom's the oldest, his dad's the youngest. So that's that's right. where they come from. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when I was in high school, mm -hmm. I uh, well, I was in middle school. I played trumpet. I played clarinet. I was always in the music. I was always right. in the record and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Watching videos. But a high school friend of mine introduced me to the demo version of Fruity Loops back in like 2001 or 2002. Right. And this was at a time we was all over, uh, we was all hanging out at his crib and, you know what I'm saying, he, he was the only child. He had video games, right? Uh, basketball. You know, it was a lot of, lot to do and everybody was doing different things and we was messing with the beats, but I think I stayed up to like five in the morning right. fooling, with this, fooling with this shit. So <coughs> I've been into it for a while and then, you know, I'm the oldest cousin too. And so just... <coughs> Everybody hanging out with me. And you, smoke, you smoke some good shit, huh? Yeah, I'm about to put this shit, shit out. Right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to put it out. Some good, he's cool for this shit. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. telling you. Fucking up over here. But yeah, that's how that's that's how that started. Just um, mm -hmm. and then um, I used to spend all my you know I had a job. I used to spend all my money on CDs and hats. Right. So I, all I used to do, and I used to get the CDs, right. read the books. You know, I have all, I still got my double XL magazines, my scratch magazines. Like anytime I'm into something, I get all the way into it, Paul. So like, uh, you know, when I collected basketball cards and football cards, I had Beckett, you know, the, the magazine to look up the prices. So when I started doing beats and music, I just did, I just got really into it and it just stuck with me. For, right, you know, right, yeah. right. Shit, for me, uh, we just grew up with music around the family, like 
our granny and shit made us be in the choir. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? So we got that with the, the separation of the cutting the beat and letting certain shit play out by itself. Like just, right. you know what I'm saying? Getting all these different types of musical influences. And then, you know what I'm saying? On my mom's side, my grandmother, she, she played records and shit all day. So she got probably about like over maybe two, 300 records, just all 60, 70s R&B soul. You know what I mean? So just having that music, Growing up with it my whole life, I was I got involved in band in middle school as well. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with the snare, so the percussion side of things, and then learning the musical notes, and then just him being so into it and us being so close. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like he said, wow. he was the oldest, but you know what I'm saying? Us cousins was real close. So in the summertime, we at our granny house. He pull up from work. He the only one with a car. You know what I'm saying? So when you riding with him, you got to listen to what he listening to. So this is how we get in the dip set back in 2000. Man, early 2000s, Dipset, early G Unit, yeah, early Squad just... Up, Lil Wayne, and then uh, when Ninth Wonder hit, that's all we was listening to for a minute. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So, 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 why the boom bap? I mean, y'all are like in Texas, right? Y'all yeah, in like that was yeah. Texas, but yeah. even why the boom bap? so, like, you know, in middle school and stuff, you know, so I think like that's when Swiss beats start coming into prominence, and those beats was cool. But I'll tell yeah. you what happened, man. I used to watch videos like everybody else, and now I watch 106 Apart, Top 10 Countdown. Right. Knock Yourself Out was probably like number seven or six, Jada Kiss. Right. If you watch Knock Yourself Out, oh, you modeling my, Knock Yourself Out. And then the fucking beat changes to We Gonna Make It. That moment right. changed my life, because I didn't know what a, I didn't know nothing what, uh, about a sample. I was like, where he get these instruments from? Like, what is this? Right. Like, I didn't know who made the beat. I just like, I know that's what I want to do. That affected <laughs> was on me that's what i want to create that's what i want to do i had to be like 15 when that happened and then the same thing happened the next like in the morning I, at this time i'm riding the bus to school because mm-hmm. i'm only a sophomore uh i don't have a license or nothing yet no car or whatever but right right in the morning i used to watch videos prodigy keep it thorough comes on again Ooh. i don't know what the sample is but i'm like what is I, this is what I want to do with my life? I'm in for. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I'm I'm 15. There's no there's no such thing as Facebook. There's no such thing as YouTube. And I don't even think MySpace is around yet. We right. I had AOL chat rooms, but by luck, you know, saying I I'm in the chat rooms. I'm just exploring the internet. There's right. somebody in there. Shout out to Nam. I don't know where he is now, but. You know, it, in chat rooms, it was kind of like social media before social media. So the cool people right. would have some where they play, they showing the music that they play. And this dude named Nam was playing some, like it was saying Nam, and then the name of the song, and then it said produced by Nam. And I was like, hey, you make beats? And this dude sent me cool edit pro. He sent me drums that I still use to this day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and really helped me out. And so ever since then, it's like, when he sent me the beats, I think he had sampled some like Love Unlimited Orchestra or something. I was like, hey, where you get your instruments from? Because I'm in Fruity Loops. And these instruments sound like circus music. He was like, no, these are samples. And once I, I start, I can start going back to them CDs, looking at the books. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm good at computers. Like, I went, I uh, have a bachelor's degree. And it's a double major, but one of the majors is computer information systems. So I've always been the dude that I was pirating music, torrents. I was always able to find music and stuff. So once I started, like, that, um, getting into samples and reading the book and then looking up what, you know, whatever, whatever. And I started looking that stuff up. And then I started being like, Oh, this is how they do it. I can do this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so right. I, we've been sampling and into that because that's just what drew me. Like I'm not even knowing what a sample is, but keep it thorough and we going to make it mm-hmm. is what got me one to make beats. And both of those are produced by the alchemist and the alchemist is still my favorite producer to this day. So, the alchemist is man, sick. Right. So is it ever uh yeah now let me ask you a question, like because this is like I said, this is a hard interview to do. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it ever a uh, 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 a battle between you two? Who makes the best beats? If I if I want to put a standout beat, who am I getting the beat from? Is it from it's both of us? Know? Say it again. It's from both of us. It's from both of us. So basically, I mean, we both cook, you know what I'm saying, for the majority individually. But like, you know what I'm saying? He don't send nothing out to a rapper without it. You know what I'm saying? Passing it through me first. Okay. And let me hear it and vice versa. So any beats you getting from us, like we both done either made or, you know what I'm saying? Mixed. Stamped or produced, yeah, right. or mixed or right. mastered. It's you know kind of like um, the Neptunes, like, mm-hmm. like 
Pharrell, now he, he might come up with the melodies and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. Chad might go in and change a snare or make it sound, right. you know what I'm saying? So we both, but it started mm-hmm. off like, he, like I said, he's younger than me. So I used to like maybe come up with a loop and say, hey, see that, put the drums on this. He, you know what I'm saying? He's 12. Mm-hmm. And I, I told him to do that. You right. know what I'm saying? And then we did it. I think we did it for two beats. Right. And then my, uh, this is my space days. The rapper reached out. And I met up with him, shout out Legendary. We met up with him and I played him a whole bunch of beats. And some of the beats, like the beats I made by myself, mm-hmm. he would be, he would let it rock and then he'd be like, okay, that one. But the ones that we did together, as soon as the beat, as soon as the drums hit, he picked them. Right. And so when he paid us, I, I, I came and gave Chris his percentage. And he 12. Right. So he sold his first beats at 12 years old. So Ooh. from there, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm trying, we got we on to something. So then it was that way for a while. I would let them, I would chop up a sample, loop it, then tell them to do the drums. And then it went the other way. I was like, okay, now I want you to get, you know, say loop this sample up and, and sample this, and I'm gonna do the drums. So we both took turns and split responsibilities, and then we both got so good. Well, he got really good. Yeah, I went no. off to college. He went so off to college, got, got really my own good. laptop type shit. Mm-hmm. Finally went off on, you know, what I'm saying went off to school on my own. Right. And I uh, so the whole time I'm just yo pass that my nigga pass that can I can I smoke, <laughs> smoke some of that pass that pass that I mean bro yeah, yeah, man, nah. yeah man, I'm sorry guys you, you, I know you, you good like, but yeah yeah so shit like so yeah I go off on the college you know what I'm saying get my own laptop finally and shit I start making beats on my own because like I would be sending him so many ideas right. like he wouldn't be able to get to them hoes like I'm up. sending like maybe four or five. Uh, chopped up loops in like a like a week, maybe you know what I'm saying, just back to back to back. But I, I ain't going to class, I ain't doing nothing but making beats and going to the gym pretty much. So shit, I'm I'm working and then you know what I'm saying the shit he not being able to get to. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just do something with it myself. Right. Shit, well, you know what I'm sending him that, just trying to see what he think of it. He like I was like, he like damn, bro, this shit crazy. Right. You, so, you, trying, you trying to impress. Oh, yeah, coach. exactly. That's always been the thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I always been trying to you know what I'm saying keep up with where he at right. with the beats. Right. So that's why, like, like you really can't tell who made the beat out of me and him, cause like right. I'm just fruit off his tree paws, you know what I'm saying? That's done right. grew into its own thing, but it's all the same sauce, and you know what I'm saying? We ain't done until it got that certain feel, right. you know what I'm saying? We it's call it feeling. the standout feeling. Right. Right. Cause you two are like the dirty digs. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Dirty yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. you're like the dirty digs of, of you know of the South. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I rock with dirty digs all day. Yeah, Shout out to dirty hard. digs. You know what I mean? So it's like it's never a time like, man, get off my shoulder. I'm, I'm, I got yeah. this, big bro. I got this. Nah. You know what I mean? It's no, never no, that because like we both. And another thing is, we both have good taste level. So we don't need to be told who go hard. We don't need to be told who got it. Right. We've been we done kicked it so long, and you know we've been roommates mm-hmm. and all types of stuff. So we done right. sat there, smoke, watch videos, and be like, oh, he got it. Oh, right. you know, what I'm saying but right. we don't need to be told. Like so, a lot of times, you know, saying we putting each other onto music. So like right. I remember when Mark Mossberg came out, Man. I texted him and asked, hey, what you doing, bro? I'm gonna pull up on you. And we we <laughs> rode around to that as soon as it came out. I didn't have to wait to be told that Rock Marciano is the it's to go to the like I already knew when the album came out. I'm listening. I'm like, oh, this is different. Mm-hmm. So we so with that being said, when I make a beat and he's like, oh, that shit go hard. I know it go hard because he got good taste. He he got a good taste level and vice right. versa. And with him getting so good, I want to go back to that because what happened was he started getting really good at a time when I had a newborn. I had I was an intern at my job and I was in grad school. So right, my production I wasn't as sharp as I could, as I should be, you know, so I had a lot going on. And so he started getting really good. And I was like, Hey man, we can do this together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we stronger together because like when, you know say At the same time, if he, if he going through something, I'm gonna keep it going. And, mm-hmm. and that's how it goes. So it's like, all we have to do is just be kind of like our, just, just cook up and the other person gonna pick up the slack. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Cause you, you rock with my man Spoda. Yeah, yeah Spoda. I'm, I'm from Long Island originally. I live in Charlotte now. You know what I mean? Okay. With Spoda, yeah, you rock with Spoda. How'd you link up with Spoda? Spoda's that dude. He got that Spoda. ill shit out right now. I'm gonna yeah, tell you. Sure. Uh, so the first person, the, the first person we linked up with was Bud Rock. Awesome. Bud Rock, Long Island all day. Right. Long Island. That's the, and that's another. That's another person where 
Jazz, Rob Marciano manager, posted him. And I was like, oh, this dude is cold as hell. But at right. the time, I only think he had a thousand followers. But again, I'm like, yo, you nice. That's, right. You know what I'm saying? And then we, that's when XV, that was our first little project in this realm is a uh, mm. whole EP with Bud Rock. So it's like the right. blessing off of that, like just to come in the game with an EP with a cold rapper. But Bud Rock was like, hey, my man Spoda, you know what I'm saying? He just got out. He hungry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do this for me. Shoot him some beats, but you know, think about Spotis. He got that. He got that energy. That nigga, he yeah, just so yeah, cool. yeah, that's that's a lie. Like, that's Long Island. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just you just want to see him like you just want to see him win and just want to. You know what I'm saying? So and then, yeah, yeah, shout yeah, him. Shout out, and Spoda, the thing man, about it is, he works so like that's one of the things. Like I send Spoda something, he gonna rap on it, man. It's like he right. he was the first producer to really trust us like that. Right, right, right. Now, first, is, right, is there a competition between you two? Like, yo, I gotta outdo this dude. Like you talking about with other producers? No, no, just with two? beats. Period. Just beats. Period. It's not, like, not, oh, not, I, not I, 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 I gotta outdo because it depends. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't call it competition. I'm competitive with everything. I'm competitive with too. Yeah. Right. 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 It's like more so a fuel to the fuel to the fire more than like an opposition type. Yeah. It's kind of like if he go if he go like. What happened was, like I said, when I go back, when he was in college, he sent the beat called Better Tomorrow. Mm. I remember this beat. And I was like, this dude is about to be way better than me if I don't get <laughs> right. my shit together. Right, I was like, Right. I still, but, but then I made a beat called I Love to Hustle and mm. sent it to him. He was like, oh, okay. And then it's kind of like still sharpening steel. You right, see what I'm saying? That's right, all. Right, so it's right, like, right, yeah, right, I'm trying right, to, right, right. like, it's not like I'm trying to be, I'm not trying to be, I'm trying to impress him. Mm -hmm. and he trying to impress me. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? And then he might, and then, you know, we're on the same team. So I might send him something to impress him. Be like, hey, yo, send me them files. And he, he might add some shit too. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, but it's, like, right, right. it's a competition, but yeah. it's, it's like. It's, it's competitive. Yeah, y'all you know, trying to outdo yeah. each other to see you. And that's good because, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and how niggas was raised too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just being, right. being in sports and shit. Like, that's how we know it's competition with everything we yeah. do. So. It's right. naturally and, and, gonna happen in the music, and, but it's like niggas good sports too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like we want our competition or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To be just as good as us because that's gonna push everybody to get better. And, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still sharp still, right. Right. right, right. So let me ask you a question, like you know, because I know y'all young dudes, right? Are y'all digging in the crates, or are yep. you actually are you actually e digging? Both, both. both. Oh, both. so y'all know about digging in the crates, and y'all y'all go y'all go to these records, yes. y'all dig for vinyl. Yeah, stir the stir the pot eighteen. That was when we were just talking about this. Stir the pot eighteen mm. is straight from vinyl. Yeah, it's straight mm. from I got it at a two in a two dollar bin. A lot of them stir the pots from the vinyl. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> and then my, and again, what makes you do that? What makes you go to the crates instead of just because a lot of you, you do you do some like y'all you look you young young dudes, but why y'all going to the crates? The sound is better. The sound is better. Even if you get something from YouTube to MP3 and you get that same record at the uh at the record store, like the, right. the crackles, all that, right. all that shit is it's just more, it sounds more fuller, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you know, we from Texas, so the way we gauge music is we ride around to right, it. You right, know right, so right. Like we have right. good speakers right. in our whip. So, so why are you like, not screwing the music up? I mean, you're fucking up the game right now. You're coming with this hot ass shit. Boom bap shit, and you're not you're not screwing it. Why not? Why not go the screw route? I mean, we got a really got we got whatever, bro. Like niggas are super versatile. Boom bap, like we heavy into that right now. But like that's like just one of our bags. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we know that's good music. Okay, we love that. We know okay. that's real hip hop. So that's what we lean more to. But right. like we can give you whatever you want musically. Like because like I said, like it's two of us. I always say that when it when right. we talking about just versatility and just trying to be limitless like it's two of us so it's two different niggas but we both got a sharp mind so we can it ain't no limit to what we can add right. and, we can learn and right. put in a right. bag right. and like like I'm, right. I'm picking up new instruments to this day trying to learn shit you know what i mean it's just right. trying to make my shit more sharp so right so yeah. let's say like spoiled up you know you want to send some beats is there ever a time where like you dudes is like nah he, 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 spoiled ain't gonna rhyme and it should be like yo Spoda gonna rhyme to this. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? I, like, 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 a lot of times, see, that's the thing. Uh, another thing about it is, man, some of these artists, man, the chemistry is, is important. People underestimate that. Like, mm -hmm. with, with the artists that we work with, I know for me personally, a lot of times when I go to the record store and I put the, you know, I put the record on the needle, 
I know from the sample. Like if I right. hear some, a certain thing, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna chop this up and send this to Juco, Lord Juco. You know, say so I already know about the sample. You know, what I'm saying and then you know, even with the the cook up shit, like right, I'll be knowing. You know, what I'm saying like right. it, it, it's just the chemistry. It's just knowing who. It's not even just it's the it, we got it down to a science. We know who voice is gonna sound right over what you know. what I'm saying it's like, mm-hmm. and and again, you say it's boom bap. If you listen to Sturdy Pop 17, that's not boom bap. That's not boom bap. You know what I'm saying right. like. That's 808s, trap drums, all that right. type of stuff. Right, uh, right, always, right. We, we just have our own style that, again, with us, it's, it's more about a feel. Like, right. even if even if a beat is, like, two, uh, two BPMs too quick, it won't feel right. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, right. a certain feel that we, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Uh, Indeed. So when it comes to drums, are you sampling your drums off vinyl? Wait, 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 wait. Are y'all, you know, because I know, every, you know everybody's an individual. Yeah. Where are you getting your drums from? So a lot of times I'm playing mine live, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We'll chop the uh chop the drums and shit out of a, a record or whatever, or okay. a vinyl or however, however we got them, however we got, we got like a oh, shit ton of drums like that. We done got them multiple different ways. So we just mm-hmm. go through and see what sound right on what. And right. lately, you know what I mean? Like, like you said with the boom bap sound, like shit, that shit, it's just so it's such a flow with it, you know what I mean? And like we able to like just knock out so much of that because it's like you don't have to overdo it, you know what I mean? Right. Like once you get it to that certain temperature, it's like, all right, this shit ready to cook, you know what I'm saying? This shit ready to right. eat. It's like, I can send this out to Spo, I can send this out to, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, whoever in the walkers, like, we send them some shit, they fucking with it. We know, I mean, you we at this point, like you said, with the relationships, we know what they want, right. you know what I'm saying? What type of shit they'll go off of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we, you know what I'm saying, tend to cater to them, you know what I mean? They, they looking out for us, so we look out for them to return in that right. way, sending them the beat, sending them the heat, you know what I mean? Right. And just, Feeding them what they want. Right. Now, do y'all go out? Do y'all go out digging together, or is it like separate solo on? Like, look, yo, fam, I got this. You ain't got that. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah, I, I, think, I think for me, I think for me, it's uh, have we gone digging together yet? I don't think so. No, nah, I really go out on our separate. Yeah, like, he yeah. got his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we cover. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, in the movie, it'll be like, hey, man, split that. Let's split up. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Is, here's the thing that this is the thing that makes us kind of like individuals is like we um <laughs> not only do we, like we we have a lot of artists that we both like and both agree with but it's some music that he listened to that i don't listen to it's some stuff mm-hmm. that, that dropped that he'll fuck with he know I, that I that's not for me because you know we got a seven year age difference and all that too mm-hmm. and so oh, like seven so you said seven years yeah mm-hmm. seven years i just okay. look young man. i'm not yeah. that young don't doubt, <laughs> I don't doubt. But uh, well, um, so even with that, it's the same thing with sampling. Like I'm, I might go to the, you know, I might go to the soundtrack part of the record store, or mm-hmm. but he going to the other, like you know where they put all the music that's not American. He right. going to he going to the the world part and going. Right. And he, he looking at Brazil mm-hmm. and he and he getting all the Brazil Brazilian stuff. Mm-hmm. And so he'll come. He put me on, and that's how we do it. So like right. we both we both might start at the soul section. And, and sample so, but we now I'm going to movie scores and library music. He going to other uh he like his music to be come from other countries, you know what right. I'm saying? So and then right. he come in and put me on and be like, hey, this is artist man. Hey, he from they, they got some stuff out in Brazil, they got some stuff out in Japan, like right. I don't know what, you know what I'm saying. And so that's what we do. So um, and it's the same thing with drums, like we mm-hmm. I had you know, like I said, I started in high school and I've always been into the computer, so mm-hmm. I've been backing up. I've been backing up my files and my drums and sample loops mm. since 2003. Mm. We got like samples. And that's another reason why we knew this game was would be for us is because the first, like when I heard um, SummerSlam 88, West Side Gun. Indeed. I had I had that sample back in 06. You see what I'm saying? Mm, okay. So I was like, oh, okay. I, then, you know, oh. but I always had those. I've always been good at, we've always been good at sampling. Right. You know, we had to learn the drums and stuff because again, right. we didn't have when I started, we didn't have YouTube to right. go and look up YouTube tutorials. So right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. 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 Trial and so, error. So, yeah. so like BPMs, your beats, y'all both have the same BPMs when it comes to making beats. He like his little faster pause. So you like so you like a little really don't faster? have a set. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't ever really do a set BPM. I just like really go off of uh, what the sample give me. And like, yeah. 
and the feeling. Yeah, the yeah. feeling. Like I say, the feeling. This shit more off feeling. Like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. We uh we understand the technical side of it, but it's more so about the feeling. So shit, once that get to a certain feeling, mm-hmm. like, and again, and yeah, and that's a good point because, like I said, if if the BPM is just one off, it could be too fast for me, mm-hmm. or it could be but, too slow. Mm-hmm. You know, even let like, even when I go back, even when sometimes when I go back to beats that I made like a, a year or two ago, right? Be like, oh, this is too fast, and then I'll slow right. it down. I feel this, you know, what I'm saying, you know, and pay okay, you know, and pay the full. When Pip was uh coming in and Ace had the loud music and he's right. like, hey, listen to this booty boo. And then, like, every time I tell you that, did he put it on this music and he feels like, oh, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, he feels like this relief mm-hmm. when he puts it on the RB. That's the feeling I'm looking for <laughs> when I'm making the beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's it right there. <laughs> you're gonna have to go with a glyph next time so you can show me what you're talking yeah, about. I- yeah, yeah, because I just think, man, y'all, y'all too, you know, is this is a very ill, interesting, like, <laughs> yeah. interview because you know, I'm you know, like yeah, different, <laughs> you know what I mean, different yeah. angles or whatever, you know, yeah. which I was saying, because like I said, I was sitting there like, damn, how am I interview these dudes, like, because you're the first production duo on yeah. my show, mm-hmm. you know, and things like that, so when it comes to digging, you know what I mean, do y'all, y'all do y'all have to break break off and go other areas of the record store? Well, no, we go like I said, we go we go on our own, and then we bring we bring it to the table. It's like mm-hmm. like okay, for example, I might you know saying it might be a see. This is the thing I work at home. I've been working at home since 2011, so I got right. a little more right. latitude. So he might get off of work and pull up on me, and I got a stack of records right there. Right. I went to the record store because I got off. You know, I was working at home. I got I, I got off. I went to the I went to the barber shop, and then I stopped right. by the record store. Right. Friday, no doubt. I just got paid. I'm gonna right, see right. what some <laughs> spend about twenty dollars right quick on some records. Right, stuff. right, right, right. And he right. come through, and I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what that's what they and he and he do the same thing. You know what I'm so saying? Yeah. While right. I'm at work and shit, like you know what I'm saying, we get to listen to music. So I'm using that time to find new artists from different countries and shit right. and dig into that shit. So. I'm getting into different genres, different countries, and different eras, and different, you know what I'm saying, learning right. new artists and going through their albums, and you know what I'm saying, taking that back. So digital digging at the same time. Yeah. So we just, mm. right. yeah. just so who's the it. real digger out of the crew? Who's the digger, the one that really digs? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the one that's going to the record store because, mm-hmm. again, you know, my, my, my fiance got me a record player for my birthday. Okay. Uh, a few right. years ago. You, you just had the baby, right? You don't just had the baby, right? I got, I got a baby on the way. On the way, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, congrats, yeah. congrats. Appreciate you, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm the one that uh, mm. I have. She got me a record player, so she put the battery in my back, man. That's why you need a good woman in your life. She got, she put the battery in my back. Ever since then, I started off getting a few records, and then our uncle, our grandma's brother, mm. he had a whole. He had this room when we was kids, and we was uh, we would all go over there for Christmas. He had this back room that the kids had to go to. And it had right. records and eight tracks. So right. the, when I got my record, I hit my uncle up and I was like, hey, what you doing with those records? Can I? And he let me get all of them. Uh, you know, right. I drive a truck. So I put my, I had it in the bed, bed of a truck. It's a whole bunch. So he kind of got me started with the record collection. He gave me his collection. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Nezzy Star, the title track, that come from one of my uncle's records. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Al, this is the Al Green sample. But yeah, that's, that's why it's so crackle because it's been in there since. If I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been going over there on holidays since like the early 90s, and those same oh. records have been in that same spot. So he just gave it to me. Mm-hmm. Right, so. right, right, right. Yeah, so let me let me let me ask you this now, you know what I mean? Because it's like I said, this is a weird interview for me because it's like it's two people, you know what I mean? It's, it's like I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna ask these dudes the dopest production duo. Like I got y'all in the palm of my hand. I was already or already frantic, like yo, hand out. So I, I I can't I can't let this interview, you know, slip nerd by. Nerd out with you, man. Yeah, huh? we're gonna what nerd out with you. You ask away. Yeah, you're, you're right, you're right, you already know. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you rocking out with me or whatever. So I'm trying to I'm trying to phrase this the right way without coming off. Like I'm trying to divide you two, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like, like for example, like when you put a beat package together, is it more your beats, less of his? Nope, nope. How does that work? 
You know what I mean? Like, 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 it really depends on it depend on who really been cooking up the best the latest like lately you know mm. what I'm saying like okay. so uh we'll we'll get in touch with a rapper you know what I'm saying because like I said it's two of us so we both network social right. media wherever in person pull up at shows and shit so right. we'll we'll be uh you know what I'm saying getting getting contact information you know what I'm saying exchange yeah. of prices and all that and you know what I'm saying it'd be time to send a pack through and I'll be like hey, I'm about to send some shit to such and such yeah. you know what I'm saying what right. you been cooking up lately you know what I'm saying he'll send me about two or three, shit, I'll listen, I'll be like, shit, all oh, these hoes fire. So I put them in there, then mm. put two or three of them in there as well and shit, just let, but you know what I'm saying? Okay. Pick yeah. Two or three yeah, I was just wondering like, you know, oh, well, damn, you know. But yeah, it really don't matter. It's just like it. whoever, whoever, yeah. whatever, whatever is it, the it, best presented package for that yeah. rapper style, you know what I'm saying? It depends on the time. artist too, because it's some, it's some artists that like, it's some artists that are more, you know, every, you know, um, there's like, standard boom bap and then there's people that like out the box you know right. like different type of production right and the first thing i do is because like i said his influences are way different than mine like right when it's like certain artists that got a distinct style the first thing <laughs> i'm going to is his beats because he got a distinct style like Yo, the, the ellis finish y'all didn't pass me the ellis it's done it's done ah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. but yeah, go, 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 fam. <laughs> but no, I was just saying, um, it, it, it's like certain artists. I'll be like, man, yeah. and then again, we have a, you know, we got a shared Dropbox, so I go through and listen to his beats all the right. time. And right. And the same thing, I'll be like, yo, you know who would go good on this beat, such and such. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's the same thing. So it, like I said, and 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 again, like yes, we both make the beats, but. If he done heard a beat of mine, he might put a he might put some you know some, we call it seasoning. So right. beat not so uh, repetitive. Mm -hmm. Right. He might take it and do a little something or uh, right. cut the drums out or put a vocal sample or a vocal right. chop in there. So it's like I said, we both or like I might hear one of his beats and be like, "Yo, I'm gonna bring the bass on that. I'm gonna bring the bass out on that." So right. we you're getting the beats from both of us. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Two two minds is better than one. Yeah, you know what I mean. So let me ask you a question: Are y'all are y'all making money from beats? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. So you don't you don't work a job? Y'all are making money from? Oh beats? no, I got we got nah, jobs. Yeah, we got jobs. Oh, we, got, we do. You know what I'm saying? We got jobs. Inshallah, got jobs. inshallah, we 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 can be full time producers and pay our bills from that. That's the that's the aim. Is you yeah. know what I'm saying? We're not trying to right. be greedy or nothing, but we would like to do this for a living. Full time, way. right? We right, right, more, right. We can do more. You know what I'm saying? If he's doing music for a living. We can travel, you know what I'm saying? We can right. go to the record store, you know what I'm saying, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the aim, but right. Yeah, we can right. right. So when when people come to you like I want to beat from the standouts, like how do y'all work that out? Do y'all do the splits? Are y'all are y'all more like, hey, basically what I'm saying is is like this. A lot of times, you know, you got these artists that come out, they want to, they want to, they want to rhyme, they want to do this, they want to do that. Now, are you the type that's like, hey, I'll save these beats or yo, well, let's do the splits. Let's do the split, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. How do you yeah. determine when to do that? Man, you know, honestly, we've been really, really fortunate. First of all, like we 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 sell beats and stuff, but at we really we got these relationships and we really build from the ground up with the artists that we really fuck with. We are right. fortunate to fuck with the, like I said, the walkers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when the walkers working on something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? When the walkers are working on something, they they hit us up. And right. you know, so yeah, we doing distro clips. So it's not about it's not so much about money. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like at the right. because this, this is home team, but you know, we've had different opportunities, like you know, white walls, you know, we didn't know we didn't know it was gonna end up in a vinyl deal, but right. you know, Lord Juco was fair, you know what I'm saying? Right. That worked out fine. We sold right. vinyl, we did the splits, you know what I'm saying? Jamal Gasol. You know what I'm saying? We, we made saw, merch. Shout out to him. Yes. We made merch from it. We you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We made the Keep Stirring shirts. We never thought that we would have any merch based on our production. So it's just being real creative. We, and we work with some, we able to work with some real intelligent dudes that have different perspectives and different ideas and stuff and right. ways to generate income. Like I always say, Jamal Gasol, like the Master P of this shit. Mm -hmm. Like on the underground, he sells socks, phone cases. Mass, so Jamal Gasol is smart. We learned a lot from him. So, so everything is like 
Mm-hmm. Money is one thing, but sometimes you have to think about the uh the uh non-monetary right value, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so but if, if an artist hits us up, yeah, we're gonna say what's your budget at this point. Like I said, I got a kid on the way. Right, you know right, saying? right, right, right. If so how, artists how, that, how do you know when to just charge and when not to charge? When you just say like, "Yo, I like that," that, 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 that comes it depends on it depend on the, like the relationship built yeah. up. Like we fucking with you on the say you reach out, you know what I'm saying? Right. You trying to get a beat, we'll ask your budget, and you know what I'm saying, and we'll send you a few on that. You know what I'm saying? Work a deal that way. If the music we get back from that shit is like fire, and it's mm-hmm. like gonna be a you know what I'm saying equal benefit to us for us right. to want some you know what I'm saying. All right, bro, we just fuck with you because you dope type shit. Yeah, then we'll do that. But the music got to be fire, though. And, 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 you know right. what I mean? So when it get to that point, but like like I say, any, any relationship that we engage in, it eventually gets to that point. Yeah, because like shit, niggas don't be bullshitting when they you know what I'm saying. They reach out, they reach out, they know we not right. you know what I'm saying. We're not playing around with the shit like we really trying to yeah. do good music. So like setting that quality of music precedence that we have, you know what I'm saying, recently, when people reach out, they already know, you know what I'm saying, we, you know what I'm saying, come correct, and you know what I'm saying, right, let's do right, business, right, right, let's right, do right. business first, yeah. we'll build a relationship, and then we'll see how that go, and we'll Definitely. work something out, like, we cool niggas, you know what I mean, we ain't trying yeah. to break nobody bank, yeah. but we do, like he said, we do want to do this shit for a living as well, so. Right, right, and right. Again, right. Sometimes, sometimes the chemistry is just so undeniable, when the music just be so good, that it's like, man, we rocking with each other, like, and that goes back to us uh, sitting around listening to artists and be like, oh no, he got some. Like mm. we gonna we gonna rock out with him and see where this goes. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the chemistry is like I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, shout out Eddie Kane, man. He just mm. put out this project with Big Ghost. But shout out to Eddie Kane, peace to Eddie Kane. But back, yep. but back in 2018, I just so happened to send him a beat. Uh, no, a pack. The next day, he he texts me. Uh. The song, he done put a video to it and he about to put it on Instagram. That's that's the next day. Like, and if the wow. song was dope, the video, I'm like, oh no, we up, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, we finna cook. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. you know, uh Ty Ferris is the one that helped us set up our distro kid and set right. up our right. ass cap. So it's like that's worth more than money. You know what I'm saying? You helping us right. out, you putting us on a, 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 a the same out a, on a, a no co sign, just cocaine too. You know what I'm saying? You got Conway on the same album. Like, you're giving us a good look. You know what I'm saying? Right, Lord, right, so, right, right, giving right. us a whole album. It's not an EP. So it's just like, it just depends on where the music goes. You know, the music right, is right, always right. the priority. The art is always the priority. It's always, 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 always first and foremost. Right, right. Yeah, rock right. with me, right? Yeah, yeah, see what I'm doing. You see, you yeah. know, you've been rocking with me for a minute. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. You see, it's all about all about the beat maker. Yeah. You, know I mean? you see how you I, I push for the beat maker. Um, I, I, I really, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm dissatisfied with how, how we're treated. Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it, yeah. I'm dissatisfied how we're treated, man. People take off beats, make albums, do whatever they want with it, go out there, do this, this, and that, and we get the shitty end of the stick. And that, that does happen often. That, and that's why right. I say we've been fortunate, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. So We've been fortunate people ain't did us ain't did us like that and, and you know and that's why the tag the laugh that that's been in our beat since twenty that was like one of the first things we did before we were even good at the beats we had a tag and a name yeah. so right. uh, right. you know what I'm saying you right. can't play right. with us you right. gonna hear that right. laugh you gonna know you ain't gotta ask right right so it's always about the beat maker first this yeah. is my platform we put you all in the forefront you know what I mean that's, that's why right. you know strictly for my diggers. Those yeah. were getting up there, chopping up beats, you know, taking the time to find these samples or right. whatnot, yeah. because it's not easy. No, it's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. We look, we 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 go into man. Come on, you can you can you know, we go through all these different records and all these different, you know, phone, you know, it's just it's, it's well, a lot of hard work, you know. And one time I accidentally bought a record that was an acapella record, <laughs> and it was like doo I was like, God, I can't. Like, like, I'm gonna tell you, you what it. I'm gonna tell you what it does, though. That pushes another level of creativity because when you spend your money on the That's records, gonna right. you're gonna cook something. You're not gonna. Something, I'm not gonna go something. spend twenty. I'm gonna make a beat off of something, and then you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna. So yes, yeah. Something. something. So this platform is 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 for us. You know what I mean? It's yeah, for us. Sure. You yeah. know, um, I'm pushing for the beat maker. I want to see you guys win. Yeah, I want to see you guys win. 
You know what I mean? And like I said, I was so angry. I was like, yo, I got the dopest production tool in the palm of my motherfucking hands. No, <laughs> there's no way in the world I'm going to let this shit slip by over fucking glitch. No, we or, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Or whatever, I'm whatever. Sure. You know what I mean? So I'm so happy to have you guys with me. I've been rocking with y'all for a good minute. Yeah. Why you been bullshitting with me for so long? A. Dot McCray. Why yeah. you been bullshitting with me for so long? You should have been Man, on the you know, show a long time said, ago. You know what? Life life gets in the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you work multiple jobs. You been chopped it up a long yeah. time ago. I, I always been, I was into the, I was like, because you. I think um the wavy one. Waving to God. Right, right. You, I'm a beat maker. I'm a beat maker. So you know what the questions I ask. Yeah, and I was like, yo, you need to holler at us. Yeah. Only a beat maker can ask these questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a beat maker. So I'm not no regular, oh, just, you know what I mean? I, I you know, the questions I ask, only a beat yeah. maker can ask you these questions. For sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know, I'm into the craft. I know what's going on. You know, I know yeah. the science. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. So I'm glad that me and you finally got the chance to chop it up or whatever. So you probably handle most of the business part, right? Nah, we both, yeah, we yeah. do it pretty much together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, right. But you seem like you yeah. smoke that good shit. You seem like you smoke the good shit better than he do. You say you smoke that good shit. Nah, you smoke that good shit better than he do. He was nah, nah, you nah, that good shit. Both, that, that both, good uh, shit. Both locked in on what's going on. Yeah, we, we, got, sure. we, got, we got a high taste level, man. Right, we got a high taste level, right? And, and I'm going to tell you something else. Like, we really, we really locked in. Like, we've been through. Well, first of all, we're cousins, so you know that's right, not right, right, right. That. Like, we really locked in, like to the point where I done been broke and he done had to loan me some bread. He done, right. I done had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to get him get him out of jail, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, he done had to help. So we really so with that being said, it's like don't nothing go through just me. Right. Like, even if even if me and you talk, right? Me and I don't I don't feel Chris uh C dot <laughs> in already you know what i'm saying if, right. if he have a conversation he don't fill me in and right. we go and i'm gonna make sure like even when we was putting this together i had right. to see what his availability is you right. know what i'm saying like we are locked in so it's like you you dealing with both of us mm -hmm. you like you might, be DM, you might be dming him or you might be dming me but you dealing with both of us and that right, goes, right right that so let me ask you what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what's really? next to you guys what's going on any instrumental albums uh what's going on well we working on he's uh not an instrumental album but uh compilation we're yeah trying we've been, we're trying to we're putting together a compilation we want sure to yeah that uh well no we ain't got a date on it yet but um outside of that the the, North, the usual suspects you know what i'm saying yeah. everybody that's dropping soon that we That's a lot of shit that just shit. came that, that just came out that you mm -hmm. know that one thing about this music thing, the beautiful thing about it is sometimes like you know, saying you might get a song, you might send a beat out and get the song back the next day, but you don't know where it's gonna go. You right. know what I'm saying? But you know right. it is this, you know it's fire, and you know when it come out, that shit gonna shake shit up. You know what I'm right. saying? It's right. like uh you know, even you know, saying it's like dang, if you would have asked us a couple months ago, we would have told you all the stuff we had coming out, but you should just you should you better off asking us what has recently come out. Mm -hmm. right. We got we got two joints on uh Lord Juco album, mm -hmm. uh Ray's Right, uh Gorgeous George and well, Look Books and Gorgeous George. Okay. okay. Shout out Juco. We just uh we just wrapped up uh season two, Jamal Gasol to cook up. Okay. So at that point, that. people we trying to get people to go back because it's like a lot of like, a lot of people fucking with 18, but I'm thinking like if somebody comes across Stir the Pot, let's say they come across Stir the Pot 16, they're going to be like, okay, this is part 16. This is right. fire. What, what part? What? Let's start from the beginning. What is this? So right. we're giving people a chance to catch up because that's something we've just been dropping just to coincide with like TV shows. It's like I said, Jamal Gasol is a different type of brand, uh, different type of genius to me. Right, then, right, right. So will we ever get a, a, a Spoda album like produced by the standouts, just fully produced? Hey, yeah, we got audio trafficking out already. Yeah, we got an EP out, audio Ooh, traffic. Ooh, yeah, I missed that. Us. Yeah, that's us. Mm -hmm. I missed that. Yeah, do you yeah, hear it? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That came out in what 2020? Yo, Ooh, we, we no, put out 2019. Uh-uh, uh 2020? 2020, because that's the thing. When the when the uh when COVID hit and everything was locked down, right? 
we was putting out a lot of music. We was putting out music that was scheduled to come out, but it's like people was locked down, losing their jobs. Right. They weren't really right. worrying about right. the music, but now they can go check it out because we have a whole project. We have a whole EP with Eddie Kane and a whole EP with Spoda that came out around from the same time. Came from Brooklyn, no doubt. Yeah. So yeah. But anyway, after we after we wrap uh, later on the day, we we working on audio trafficking too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a whole album, and it's right. we 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 yeah. You gonna right, fuck right, with right. me? <laughs> so, I'm so telling you that now. My last question for you guys before we we get off, because we can we can talk beat science all day. You already know. Yeah, I can yeah. I can get in your. I'm I'm nosy. Let's I'm do nosy. it, man. We, I'm nosy. We got time? <laughs> I'm nosy. You know what I mean? But what advice would you give to upcoming producers that want to get in your shoes? That want to get like where you're at? Uh, I would say, like the shit that you're listening to, that you like, and right. like the way you're trying to be a part of. Right. Like you got to make sure your shit is either on that level or better, mm -hmm. and you want to try to make that shit better. You know what I mean? Because right. y'all want to try to stand right. out, like you know what I'm saying. Hence the name. So, like, get your craft perfected before you, you know what I'm saying, step out into that lane. Make sure you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Get your business in order. You know what I'm saying? And just cook up. Have your shit ready. Have right. beats ready for when right. you know what I'm saying it's time preparation for your name man. to start ringing and people start reaching back out to you. You can right. already be ready and loaded. Have your prices ready. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't no homie, you but I am right. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna steal you in my country. I'm gonna tell you what you're 